Sometime in the 90s, I was working on a degree in art. I was taking lots of art classes, uh, elements of design, art history, color theory, figure drawing. And then one of my friends gave me this book. It's called Life, Paint and Passion, Reclaiming the Magic of Spontaneous Expression. And this book has become my art Bible and my guide to unlearn everything I had been taught in school. It outlines the guiding practices and principles for unlearning painting for product and allowing to paint solely for the joy of the process. Painting for a product can have its place. When I painted this with paper, I had a very specific product in mind. I sketched it out, considered the colors and the elements ahead of time, and pulled everything I knew to arrive at a very specific destination. And when I was done, I felt a sense of accomplishment. But for me, the real joy comes when I paint just to paint. When it comes to painting for process, there is no destination when I start. I often start with just a piece of paper or I randomly and pretty much thoughtlessly attach papers to a canvas and then I just go. I choose a brush, I choose a color, I clear my mind and make shapes and lines until something like this becomes something like this or like this. And to be honest, it feels good when I'm fully in the process and enjoying each new line and color and I end up with something that I love. Is that still painting for process? The authors of the book say, you cannot serve two masters. You cannot embrace the product and the process. I sometimes challenge that idea when I love the outcome or if I despair over my failures or if I try to challenge myself in some kind of technical way. Lately, I've been wanting to paint more full figures rather than just portrait style painting. So when I start off, I start off thinking I'm going to paint a full figure. Even with an idea in mind for the end, I still try to embrace the process. And sometimes I come up with something that I really, really love. Other times I start with an end in mind and still try to enjoy the process and I end up with something that I don't love. <laughs> um, but the end result is all the same. I've learned something. I've enjoyed the process. I enjoyed picking a brush, picking a color, a pattern, listening to instinct, starting with a dot or a line or a blob and just seeing where it takes me. In the end, art is about enjoying the journey wherever it takes you. The authors of my book say, good rules to follow. If it has a reason, be skeptical. If it makes sense, furthers the story, balances the color or ties the painting together, there is a good chance that this is the voice of control. If it comes uninvited, if it does not fit or make sense, dare it. If you are not sure where it is coming from, your head or your heart, do it anyway. You will learn in the doing.